Hey guys, it's Tina. Welcome to Life with Tina B. So you guys are seeing this today, but it's actually 72 hours ago and looking pretty rough because I had told you guys when I did the August Ipsy unboxing or unbagging that um, I really was questioning um, this little IT Cosmetics moisturizer that claimed that um, it would be good for 72 hours. So I decided that I am going to put this 72 hour IT Cosmetics moisturizer on half of my face. Okay, so you guys see the side with the beauty mark? That'll be the side that has the IT Cosmetics. And then on the other side, I'm going to use the Glam Glow. So I'm going to put that on the left side of my face. And then over the next 72 hours, I'm going to check in with you and let you know how it's going. So it is now, I think, around 9.30 the next day, um, which would be Saturday. And I showered and everything. And yesterday, I can tell you the wear test. I had on both moisturizers. And the IT Cosmetics side was... Ooh, big glare. The IT Cosmetics side was... Um, very smooth, very moisturized, and it really felt nice on my skin. And the Glam Glow side was moisturizing, and it was a little bit tacky all day, but I think really that side would have been good for, um, like, the Glam Glow, maybe under makeup, to hold it. So now this morning, how incredibly dry my face is there is no difference from one side to the other like i have to go get my nails done now and my face is dry as a desert i'm not going to put anything on because i told you guys three days we're going to see what my skin looks like after three days so i'll see you tomorrow so how am i feeling after 72 hours dry that is how I'm feeling, dry. And as you know, by the title, we are talking about this little baby guy here that I got in my Ipsy for uh, last month. And it is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion, oil-free for all skin types. And the claim was that this would provide moisture for 72 hours. I went on the site and I did this. I did half my face with the IT Cosmetics and I did the other half with the Glam Glow. Now, as I said to you before, the only reason that I don't particularly care for this moisturizer is the smell because it has a very strong odor. But as a moisturizer, it's all good. As I said, I was not going to put a cream on for three days. Guys, I am so dry and it's making me cranky I'm so dry. And, and I need you to understand this. I am not saying that this cream, this gel, will not work for some people. But here is the issue. I am 50 years old. In the throes of my menopause, where your skin becomes the equivalent of a California raisin, okay? 
I cannot keep enough moisture in my skin. And this is not enough to do it. I have yet to find a moisturizer that is capable of that. So before everybody comes for me and says, oh, I've used it and it's the bee's knees and all of this stuff, that's good. But so that was my rant about being dry. Now, let's talk about some fun stuff. First off, doesn't my background look cute? I decorated for you guys. I decorated for fall. So we are going to get ready because today, well, this whole week is a happy week. And, and I'm, I'm not liking the angle that I've got you guys at. If this is loud, I'm really sorry. Anyway, this week is an exciting week. And we're going to start out with some moisturizer. So I told you guys I always like wearing an SPF. So this is the Pure Elise, okay? And it's the Blow, uh, the Blow Lotus. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's the Blue Lotus Daily Moisturizer and it has SPF 30. Um, this is fantastic. Um, I like it. I like that it gives me a little bit of protection under my makeup. The only thing is, guys, don't get it in your eyes, because I did, and it was literally, oh, and I had to go wash my face because I couldn't see anything. I'm, I'm losing hair. I'm a mess. I am a mess this morning. Oh, no. Oh, well. Good thing my hair is curly, eh? So much forgiveness. Okay. And then we put it on all the skin that's exposed. And then we are going to wipe the hands because we don't want that on the eyes. We are going to use the, um, if I say this wrong, you have to tell me, the Soyonero Coco Cabana Cream. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that on my eyes because she dry like anything and oh and it smells like the finest of coconuts it's so nice and after three days my skin right now is saying thank you thank you so much for putting something with oil in it on us because i looked like hell like I didn't, I didn't want to do anything because I felt like crap and I looked it. Anyway, I got off topic like I was telling you. This week is exciting. Um, on Friday, uh, my, um, I call him my baby brother, but he's 40, 41, but he's still my baby brother. Um, him and his fiance are getting married i'm so excited so it's been a long time since we've had uh, a wedding in the fam so you know congratulations to the two of you love you so much and this week is a whole lot of preparation so if you don't see me a lot you know why i've already got the nails done and I got my feet done too, but you don't need to see my feet. But the one thing I am gonna show you this week, oh, I'm gonna show you my shoes. They're killer. Anyway, let's get this face going. So I have to go out today with my mother because she needs to get her nails done. So we're gonna take her out and get that all done. So what I'm going to do, I think I mentioned this to you guys before, that when I am just out and about i mix um, the bare minerals uh, complexion rescue with the tart um, this is the shape shape tape matte foundation i want to get the hydrating one but they're actually out of my shape because i think it's really a popular one so i wear in this one 4.5 which is wheat and in this one i am medium neutral in this one 
okay? So all I do is get my hair out of the way and we just put a little, a little bit around. Don't be too worried about how you do it. And then this I shake up and you got to move a little bit quick because the shape tape dries really quick. So I use about this much on a sponge and I just kind of mix it in. Okay. And then get yourself a mirror and you go to town. So we're going to go and get her nails done. And then um, I have to get myself some decent but not expensive um, earrings because I am not a huge um, earring person like I, I tend to get stuck in a rut of wearing the same thing all the time and it's uh, it's usually when we have functions that I'll be like I need earrings and um, so I have to do that today all right so that looks that looks good very nice all right and oh got a little bit on the, the back of the hand we don't want to waste so as you can see it just gives like a little bit of a you know just just to clean up my complexion a little bit so concealer so the jeffree star the Magic Star Concealer in C11. And we don't need a whole lot because I don't want to do, I say that all the time and I shouldn't. I always say, I don't want to do like a full face. And then I end up putting on like a massive, like smoky eye, but you know what I mean. All right. So it's going to be fun today. I, I always like getting the chance to go out with my mom and uh, and do stuff like that. You know? Especially too because it's nice when uh, you know my mom is 73. She's going to kill me for telling you how old she is but I mean I guess you guys kind of figured she wasn't like 60 right? Considering my age. Um, I like the fact that, you know, I, I've grown up in a family of women that are really, um, really cool ladies. Like, no matter the age that they are, they, um, they look after themselves. So, now we're going to set Magic Star Setting Powder in Topaz. If you notice, I think you guys really want must want to be close to me, or I gotta put like a wedge on my camera because I like you a lot. But as I said, we need a little bit of space. Okay, so let's set the face. Um, I grew up in a family of women who really even through the midst of raising kids and and everything they took the time to look after themselves you know like even if it was just putting on a little bit of lipstick and mascara you know or you know having their nails done or whatever they <laughs> don't get me wrong like you know they all went through the points when they had all of us little where you know they they had their hair in a bun kind of deal but you know when it came to going out those ladies were turned out okay and so I learned from the best that you don't 
we all have our days where, you know, it's not going good. But when it comes to, like, functions, they turn it out. Whether or not, you know, like my mom uses a cane and so do, um, um, so does a couple other people in the family, but they don't care about that kind of stuff. You know, even the whole attitude of how they look at using a cane is, is cool, you know? I'm just gonna put eyebrows on and I'll be right back. And we are with brows. So I'm gonna be using the Morphe Jeffree Star collab. And I think we're gonna be using um, really just neutrals. I, I want, I know you guys are like, really? There's a surprise. But I was serious. I, I really don't want anything crazy today because I mean, I'm just going to the grocery store. I'm not going to the club. Not that I go to the club now anyway, but so I think for a nice, easy, breezy transition shade, we're going to go into back, which is up here. Um, and let's get this going. I'm taking this onto the lid and everything. I'm going generous with it. And uh, just keeping it more my taste. It's not, I don't really worry about what anybody else is doing, to be honest with you. Like I told you guys, um, my channel is basically just what works for older women or men, you know? Like, if you're if you're coming to see some artistic stuff unless it's me decorating my background of course because i'm good at that um but makeup wise i'm pretty simple when it comes to that i mean i'm okay at it like it's you know i i mean i, I can make my way around it but you know for like the fancy stuff no way like i am not a makeup artist by any means so as you can see it's just a really nice shade just even if you were just to do that pop on some mascara and go if that is your thing then you should do that but today i want a little bit of special but not a lot of special so i like using these little puffy guys here fluffy puffy however the heck you say it and I think we're going to go into um, you see this rusty color here that is called boss angelos angelus boss angelus there we go and I am going I've never tried this before so I have no idea what I'm going to end up with in the crease here and as i told you guys um when your eyes are starting to not be tight like when you're young um you really have to uh, give yourself time to, to take eyeshadow and really like blending is your best friend because if you don't, I, oh God. Can you see how you get lines? It's just nature. You know, there, there's nothing you can do. Uh, well, there is, but it's a, it's a whole lot of, uh, eye lift surgery that I'm not willing to have because I am determined that I'm going to grow old gracefully. I even, I even, um, if you guys go back and look at older videos that I have, you see that I have long hair and I had long hair because 
I let it grow out so my husband, who's never seen me with long hair, could see me once with it. And I colored it and I did all kinds of stuff to it. So, but then I was like, you know what? Are you done now? Because in February I turned 50 and I want to be over all of this. I want to be free. So I cut it off. That looks all right, I think. Yeah. Okay. So then I want to go back in and with the back, back in with the back and just soften up up here. I, I'm not looking for anything harsh. I just want not to be with no eyeshadow on. <laughs> I, I'm, uh, I'm fussy when it comes to all of this stuff. I like to I like to look effortless, but it takes effort. That's weird, isn't it? But it's what I do. Okay, where is my hacking brush? I have too many brushes now, and now I can't find stuff when I want it. And I'll probably cut it out while I look for it. That'll work. Okay, and on my lid, I would like to go on the lid, I'm going to go with Mr. Diva, which is right here. And it is not a shimmer shade because, as you guys know, I am a matte kind of girl. That, that's pretty. And I find matte shades are a lot more forgiving on my skin. Pretty! And that actually looks really nice with brown eyes, which is so good, because that's what I got. Because <laughs> you're probably like, you're spun. Yes, I am. All right, and then let's take a Dude down here, and I'm gonna just tuck that right under the lash line and just really tight against the upper lash line. Yeah, it's really, it's really funny how um, I've been noticing since I've been going through my, my change of life that there's so many things that have changed as far as my my skin, like what it needs. Because I know a lot of you are, are younger, but I know a lot of you are also around my age and you can relate. So get yourself a big fluffy brush and I just, I like to blend that out. As you know, I don't like harsh lines. It's not necessary. And by the way, if you ever do this and it gets away from you, um, another thing you can do is just take a lighter color and buff over top and that creates a really nice look as well. Like don't worry too much about, about it. I just find that the more you blend the, the softer it looks and the prettier it looks, you know? Yeah, that's all right. And then we're gonna go tight on the upper lid. So I'm probably gonna finish all of this off camera and then we'll come back for... And we are ready to go. I kind of took the liberty of finishing everything, but I'll tell you what I did. So, mascara, I did a combination of the Voluminous, which is a double-ended primer and mascara. And then on the bottom lashes, I used the Telescopic uh, Carbon Black. Now, I like this for my bottom lashes because it has a really tiny wand and it's a lot easier for me to do. 
So that's for mascara. And then for blush, since it's fall, I use the Maybelline New York uh, blush kit. And as you can see, it's a mess, but I very rarely use this color, but I did today just like a little kiss of it. And it's actually very pretty. So I think I'm gonna try using that more often. So what else did I throw on my face? Lip liner. We use the Steve Laurent lip liner. But um, today, because I'm going to be out, this is in the shade Vogue, by the way. Um, I'm going to be out all day. And I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to reapply. So fun little trick if you haven't already heard of it. When you do your lip liner, color your lips in with it. And then on top, I got the Odessa New York All Day Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Beverly Boulevard, which is a really pretty shade, and it goes well with Vogue as a liner. And that, my dears, is it for today. So I will see you again real soon. I hope that you have a wonderful week. I am going to, 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 blah, 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 blah. I'm going to try and talk first. I am going to definitely do a live stream this week because I don't think I'm going to be able to be sitting down to record another video, but I want to see you and I want to talk to all of you. So look for that. I will schedule it and I hope you guys have a great day. I love you like mad. Bye for now.